Lennox Stitches Creates, and welcome to my Floss Tube channel about counter cross stitch and the project bags I make. It is Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. This is episode 96. We are getting closer and closer to that 100th episode, and you know what's going to happen when that happens. My husband will be joining us again, <laughs> and he's already making plans, so it should be a fun one. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Um, enjoy reading your comments and um, answering them each week. If you're new, welcome. Uh, I know I've had some shout outs in the last couple of weeks, so I thank everyone. Um, I know Bougie Stitchers added me as a BFF, so thank you to Nancy and Jen, and I look forward to seeing you guys at um, Crazy Woman, 20 days till we go to Wyoming. So really looking forward to that, especially since, you know, I miss Black Needle Retreat. I'm just really looking forward to it. So yeah, so this week, it was a pretty good week. Um, it was a tiring weekend because my husband and I were babysitting our two and a half year old grandson. <laughs> so, you know, we kind of tag teamed it. And uh, at one point he was reading him stories because he loves, loves books and really always has. It's, it's great, but you know, I was sitting on the couch, my husband's reading to him, and I went out. <laughs> so I took my nap and got my nap in. And then the next day, I was reading to him, and my husband went out. So, you know, they're busy people. They're busy little guys, and he he's a smarty, and he when he's moving, he is moving. And when he's sitting, he's sitting. You know, there's there's no... There's no in between. It's either fast. I run fast, Grandma. <laughs> or he's sitting quiet. So, you know. But anyway, so not not that much stitching over the weekend. A little bit. A little tiny bit. But uh, I, I stitched some yesterday and I did stitch some last week. So I do have some things to show you. So let, let's start there. Um, I am finishing up. Part five of the sewing room, Sal. This is a picture of what it will look like when it is finished because all six parts are out. Um, the last part came out August 1st. I am finishing up July's. This is where I was last time we were here. And here is where we are now. I'm getting the sewing machine in. It only needs about, I have to, to cross um, X is here and then there's about another 200 stitches to finish the top and some back stitching and it will be done uh, the July part so I would have finished it last night I would have stayed up late and finished it but unfortunately <laughs> I ran out of white and when I did it was after midnight and I said no nope, I'm not gonna search of course I have white in other project bags but I said no I'm just gonna let it go go to bed so there it is july is almost done yay so that means i'm well within reach of my goal of finishing part six finishing it in august so so cute i love it so many cute little details um this is by Little Dove Designs. Um, I believe Little Dove is out of the UK. So cute. And the whole pattern is available for purchase now on her website. So that was that stitch. Um, I continued to work on Let's Be Friends by Tiny Modernist, or We Should Be Friends, by Tiny Modernist. And if I remember to take a picture, I'll put it in there. I don't know if I remembered or not. And this is where I am now with it. So 
I've got, I finished the one girl and then I did my second girl. And this is, I decided to use the color she called for, um, for this one, for the yellow girl. And for the green girl, I used Almond M&M's, um, I believe it's 1865 is the color name. Um, and I think that color is perfect with that green. I love it because the called for skin tone for her was this gold color. I like this better. And then I started getting the beehive in. So the beehive is the biggest motif on there. So once I get some other things done, I will get back to that and uh, work on that more. Love it though. It is such a great stitch. Um, but I enjoy Tiny Modernist. And then finally, the third thing I have, um, Stitching Book Club released the first part of the Anne of Green Gables, Sal. Uh, it's a mystery. This is what part one looks like. Of course, it came out on Saturday when I'm babysitting. I got a little bit in on Saturday because my grandson was napping but then never went back to it because by the time he went to bed, I was beat. So, but this is where I got to. It's a very, I'm trying to see if I get, it's a little more yellow than it's showing, but that's, that's part of the border. Um, I started in the center and worked this way. So there'll be that green box there and then it'll go over this way some more. So yeah, so I started the sal on the day it came out. Finishing the sal before September 1st, that first part, because after I finish the sewing room sal, I need to do my bobbin. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish that sewing machine, get July done. Then I'm gonna do my August bobbin, because I haven't done that one yet. And then I will go back, put, do some more work on Anne of Green Gables, and then go back to the sewing room sal working on August. So lots in there. And of course I need to throw in some more time on Sky High Santa and Dorney Lane. Um, so yeah. So also on Saturday, um, <laughs> Keepsakes had Meet the Designer. Uh, Karen Kluba from Rosewood Manor was there. She came into town. She brought a whole trunk show. I will put that video at the end of all her beautiful pieces. And of course, you know, can I not buy something if there's a trunk show? And especially when, um, you know, the models are there. And if you watch Candy the 614 Stitcher, she said the same exact thing. Um, the models just absolutely sell it. So I am hoping I didn't buy this one. I have to look through my stuff now because I know I saw this at um, StitchCon and I debated about it, but I'm not sure if I bought it or not, but I did buy it now. So if I bought it, Someone will get it. I'll put that, I'll look for it before my 100th episode. So if I did, but Cats on a Pumpkin by Rosewood Manor. Isn't that cute? That's from 2020. Comes with a cat button. Oh, I'm just trying to show you. There we go. So that one is 82 by 91. So not too bad. I just thought that was so cute and pretty. Um, I also got, and this picture does not do it justice at all. It's called Hands, and it says hands are meant to be held. Look at this, look at this in here. These are hands. They're holding hands. 
and the model was just so pretty. I don't think this picture does it justice at all. And it comes with the little button to finish it with. This was from 2021. It's 88 by 58. Love it. And then there was a free pattern. Um, and in honor of um, her coming to meet us. So it says, a noble woman plants a tree that will someday give shade to people she may never meet. I really like that, that sentiment. So there we go. So that was my purchases um, at the trunk show. And yes, we brought my grandson. Um, he was not in the mood to talk to anybody. Uh, <laughs> He'll get shy and then just answer no. 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 So when Karen started talking and telling us about her journey journey as a designer, my husband took him outside and then he was running back and forth because of course it started to rain. Um, and there was a water fountain that he could actually work. So he would get some water and then he'd come running in, give me a hug. And then he'd run back out to my husband, get some more water. So by the end, he was really wet. But you know what? He was quiet. He was being nice. So, and he was tired when we got back. So when he took his nap, it was good. So I got some stitchy kindness. My friend Sharon met me at the... Um, at the Meet the Designer, and she brought me this floss jewelry, but look at this. It's got a waxer on it, and you can pop off the waxer and replace it with these other ones. So there's, there's two that are bees, and one that I believe is like a thistle. But isn't that the coolest thing? So you always have, if you use waxers, you always have it with you. And then there was these pretty beads on it as well. And then um, she gave me a couple of other things. Um, so DMC thread holder. Um, couple of to mark your stitching once it's finished a project bag tag that has a counting pin and a needle and then a couple of other project bag tags and then this one had um, a threader so thank you so much Sharon I really appreciate you thinking of me um, I think that waxer is the coolest thing. So. So that was my stitchy kindness. Um, I was watching, um, Memphis Sarah E. I was watching her floss tube the other day. And she mentioned a new Instagram page. It's called Lucky Butterfly Stitchery. And it's actually a group of designers with, in Europe um, that have put together this Instagram and you can, they, they've got some, they're, they're launching, I believe their Etsy page, but, or their shop. Now I've forgotten. I meant to look that up again because, you know, my brain. But they had some free patterns out. So I I picked out two. There's, I believe, five available on their, um, through their Instagram. Go to their Instagram, and then you can click on the link to get the free patterns. This one is by Tamia Tanner. T-I-M-E-A, Tamia. And I just thought this was so cute. Look at that, the hedgehog and the bunny and all the fall leaves. So there's 
There's their logo, Lucky Butterfly Stitchery. And like I said, they're on Instagram. So this is called For Autumn Friends. And then another one that I downloaded is by Victoria Pell. And this is called Ho Ho Ho. And just a cute little Santa and reindeer. So there were a couple of others. There was a cute Halloween one. Um, another Christmas one. And I forget what the fifth one was. So check them out. They're new. Um, and support them because, you know, we need designers. And then lastly, I got my Just Cross Stitch magazine. Came in the mail today. Um, I was getting a little nervous because Carol and Zook and Candy 614 Stitcher both had theirs. I'm like, well, where is mine? But if you haven't seen, there are some of the patterns. This is so nice, this bookmark. Um, and this is by Counting Puddles, which I think is so cute. This, oh my gosh, I will pull that to the, to, to the page. Um, this Mother Nature series that they've had this year, it started with their February issue. And each month there's been a new one. Check her out. Mother Nature Halloween. I mean, I am not much of a Halloween person, but there is something about her that I just absolutely love. Uh, I think she's great. So now I'm excited to see next month if there's a Christmas one. Um, and this is by um, Perry Hadi, H A D I of Stitch Aura. It's 132 by 94. So it's not that big, but oh my goodness, the list of flosses. <laughs> there's a lot. And there's some blends. But oh I just I just love it. I don't know. I may do it. So so that's my haul, Stitchy Kindness Stitching. I'm working on project bags as always. Um, I am on call for jury duty next week. Like I want to. Um, basically, they told me, they sent me a letter a few weeks ago and said I needed to call. Like this Friday, I'll start calling in for two weeks. I'm on call. So... It's got to keep stitching and moving or sewing and moving forward so I don't get behind. But because <sighs> that would be bad before going to Crazy Woman. But anyway, so I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Black Needle Society. Um, things from Frogwarts are in the vault. Thing, uh, Winter and Stars Hollow. The last Gilmore Girls digital retreat. The boxes are on sale now. Um, the retreat itself is the last weekend in March 2024. So if you're interested in that, go check out the Black Needle Society website. Uh, we will get another box in September, which is the fairy tale one. Looking forward to that. Yeah, so I guess that's about all. I feel like there was something else. Caterpillar Cross Stitch has a new, <laughs> new Christmas sale coming out. I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted. I'm not gonna, because I've got enough. And ones I haven't finished yet. So... But it check it out. It's it's not like um, it's not advent calendar style this year. It's going to be a winter scene, like a, a Christmas uh, winter carnival type thing with ice skaters and it's outside and all that. Uh, but that's the only clue we have. But it looks it looks like it's going to be cute. 
but no, I'm going to stay strong again. I'm going to finish the ones I have. So that's all for me for this week. Take care, have a great week, and I will see you next week.